All right, now that we have the Power Pivot add-in activated, it's time to create our first data model. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to download the Power Pivot Data Tables Excel file from the resources, because that's the file we are going to create the connection to for our data model. So to import data into our data model, what we have to do is come up to the Power Pivot tab, and we have a few options. For example, if we had a list of data within this workbook itself, we could click anywhere inside the data set and then select Add to Data Model. But since we are going to connect from another source, what we have to do is click Manage. And this will open up the Power Pivot window. And within the Get External Data group, we have multiple options on how to retrieve our data. We can import our data from a database, like Microsoft Access, or from other sources. So if we give this button a click, we can see all the sources that we can choose from to connect our data. And since we are trying to connect to a different Excel file, we can scroll down this list and select Excel file. And then if we click Next, we need to tell Excel where this file is saved on our computer. So we can come up to Browse, then locate where you saved the Power Pivot Data Tables file. Mine is just on my desktop, and then we can just click this file and select Open. Now within that Power Pivot Data Tables file, there are three separate sheet tabs, and each sheet contains a separate table. And in those tables, we do have column headers. So we want to make sure that we select use the first row as column headers. And then we can click Next. Now our import wizard can see that there's three different sheet tabs within that Excel file that have data in it. And we want to select all these tables. So we can select this checkbox at the top to select all the tables and click Finish. And then if we close out of this, now we successfully loaded these tables into our data model. So we have our customer data, our product data, and then our sales data. Now that we have these tables within our data model, it's time to link these tables to create relationships. And the easiest way to establish these connections is to change our view. So if we come up to the top here, we can see that we are in the data view. But let's change this to the diagram view. Now it shows us our three separate tables and the column headers within those tables. Now the cells data is a little bit cut off, but we can select this table and drag down to resize. So really quickly, let's go back to our data view and take a look at the data within these tables and see what we are missing from one table that we could get from another. So let's go back up to data view and select our cells data. So in our sales table, we have order ID, the date, the customer ID, product ID, the unit sold, and the total sales. So what if we wanted to get the name of the customer that bought a product? Well, in this sales table, we have a customer ID. And if we go to our customer table, it also has a customer ID. But then it has the customer name, city, and the phone number for that customer. So these two tables share a unique identifier, which is the customer ID. So let's go back up to our diagram view. And I'm going to move these tables around a bit by clicking on the name of the table and dragging it to where we want it to be placed. So to connect the sales table to the customer table, we need to grab that unique identifier, which is the customer ID, and we can just click and drag to the customer ID in the customer table. And that's it. Now we have established that connection. Now let's establish a connection between the sales table and the product table. Let's go back to the data view, and then click on the sales table, and then we need to find a unique identifier that the sales table and the product table share. So in the sales table, 
we have this product ID column. But what is this product? We just know that it's P801 or P301. What's the name of the product? What's the unit price for this product? Well, if we select our product table, we have the product ID, the product name, and the unit price. So the unique identifier that these two tables share is the product ID. And if we go back to our diagram view, we can select the product ID in the sales table and then click and drag to the product ID in the product table. Now that we have established these connections, we can go back into Excel and create a pivot table to build a report that can include all the data from these three separate data tables.